With the announcement of Dragon Ball Daima, I want to jump into exactly what kind of importance do we have with these Saiyans after and during the show's run. Today we are ranking the Saiyans that matter. These are the ones that going forward are going to be extremely important and have a lot of potential for the story of Dragon Ball Super. These are my thoughts. Let me know your list in the comment section below which Saiyan you think matters the most. And I think it goes without saying that Goku and Vegeta are not on this list because they are the main characters essentially. So yeah, any other Saiyan besides these two is going to be on this list. At number eight, we have Bulla. Bulla is a baby we have no information about her and there has been no characterization nothing given to her in the entirety of Dragon Ball like in official Dragon Ball the only thing that we really got was bra in Dragon Ball multiverse but uh, this ain't the same character so we don't know exactly how she's gonna turn out personally to me I think that it would be really cool to see like almost like a like a mini Bulma but as a Saiyan that'd be pretty badass but we don't know if she's gonna get any screen time and I don't think she will. Goten is definitely the black sheep of the Sun Goku family. Unfortunately, he does not get the same amount of attention as say someone like Gohan. Even though there is a lot of potential with this character, he's literally tied to Trunks who is at number six. Trunks has gotten the most characterization going forward in Dragon Ball. He has gotten a lot of information given to him. He has gotten an entire mini story attached to DBS superhero with his character and his superhero persona. And he even has a love interest going back to the beginning of Battle of Gods. Plus it's Trunks. There are so many different versions of Trunks and he's gotten so much love throughout the years that he's probably going to get a lot more going forward because this is the main timeline trunks and i'm sure that toyotaro and the powers that be like ekiyoku probably want him to be really really badass similar to the old dragon ball z trunks but he doesn't get any higher because he is literally attached to goten right now when it comes to power because of not only are they duo heroes as saiyans but at the same time they really only get powerful if they fuse together number five Khalifla. Khalifla's story came and went and uh, yeah she doesn't go higher up on this list because she has gotten a lot of characterization and a lot of information given to us about her in Dragon Ball Super it's basically over there really isn't much of a connection that she has with Goku like at all there's really nothing there and so going forward I do see her being part of any sort of future planet Sadala storyline or a universal storyline but I don't see her having a huge part not like her counterpart Kale who comes in at number four I think that Kale her connection to the same power that Broly has is going to be paramount to the future of Dragon Ball and understanding Saiyan genes, understanding the Saiyan anatomy and the Saiyan biology and just giving us really, really interesting stories. She is really, really powerful and I would love to see the iteration that we got from the manga in the anime, the one where she's extremely skinny and she is ready to fight anybody. I want to see that. Even though she has controlled it in DBS, I want to see her not be able to control it anymore i want to see these characters hulk out and i think that she is powerful enough to even go up against broly if she really wanted to number three goes to kaba and the reason is simple kaba has an innate and inherent attachment to vegeta and vegeta vice versa vegeta is his master and so the connection between vegeta and not only the past saiyans like say in the entire granola arc how the entire story really was a reflection of his same past, but he does have a connection to Universe 6 as well. He's really interested in the planet Sadala and those Saiyans, and Kaba is literally the voice of Vegeta on planet Sadala. Vegeta is his mentor, Vegeta is his teacher, and so I do see Kaba being a huge role in the future of Dragon Ball, like a liaison between universes or some sort of ambassador between the Universe 7 and Universe 6 Saiyans, something along those lines. I do see him as being the most powerful, one of the most powerful Saiyans on Planet Sadala. I can see him going, being the first one to go Super Saiyan God or being the first one to go Super Saiyan Blue. It's just, it makes sense to me. I feel like he would absolutely go to that. And I think that he's going to have a huge part to play in Dragon Ball Super's future, especially if they go to Planet Sadala. Broly is number two. I know a lot of you guys probably thought he would be number one. He's not. I don't think that Broly is going to be as 
important as the number one spot on this list, but I do think that he is the second most popular and the second most important Saiyan that we have other than Goku and Vegeta and an honorable mention because Broly is just the missing link to these hidden powers that Saiyans possibly could have. He could be a connection to Yamashi. He could be so much different stuff in the universe of Dragon Ball. He's got a connection to Frieza now. He's got a connection to the Saiyan Empire, the old Saiyan Empire. He's just a really interesting character. He's got a really cool girlfriend and a really cool best friend in Lemo. So I do believe that Broly has a lot to offer in the future of Dragon Ball. I feel like he is going to be paramount in like having us connect to a stronger presence of Saiyan power that is in Godly because I feel like that's the direction they're going especially with Dragon Ball Magic being announced and the possibility of a Super Saiyan 4. I could see that Super Saiyan 4 power be given to Broly first letting him control it and maybe even passing it down to like Kale in Universe 6. I could see something similar to that and I do see Broly being part of the big three when it comes to the original Saiyans. I mean he is an original Saiyan. He is one of the OGs, so I do think that he's going to have a huge part to play, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to be paramount in the fight against Black Frieza in a future Black Frieza arc. Honorable mention goes to Gohan. I didn't want to, like, say that Gohan's not on this list, and he's just going to be a standard because Gohan is not. Gohan has really not had a prime role in Dragon Ball probably for the entirety since, like, say, the Buu Saga. He had a little bit in the Tournament of Power, but that's basically it, and then we got Dragon Ball Super Superhero, which half the movie is Piccolo and Pan, and the other half, or like a quarter of it toward the end, is about Gohan. So he, even though is really interesting, he still doesn't get as much screen time or as much attention as somebody like Goku or Vegeta. So I do want to give him an honorable mention because I do think that, especially with him having the Beast Gohan transformation, I do think that he will be he will be important in the future. He will be important later down the line, and he'll have a, a part to play in any sort of conflict that's going on in the story of Dragon Ball and even trying to figure out what the Beast Gohan, you know, what that is, what tr what that transformation actually is, is going to be interesting. But again, he's not a mainstay like Goku and Vegeta, so I didn't want to remove him from the list. But at the same time, I don't think that he, I think that he surpasses Broly and the number one spot in relevance, but he's just so in and out, you know, he's not really like always there. So I feel like he just deserves an honorable mention, really. But he, I, I'm, th I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the future of Dragon Ball, especially with the Beast Gohan transformation. That Beast Gohan transformation is definitely going to be something very, very important. The number one spot goes to Pan. Pan is by far the most important Saiyan in the future of Dragon Ball. Not only did she have a huge major role in the last movie that came out and has a lot of foreshadowing from even Dragon Ball Super when she was born, but at the same time, she is the next generation of Dragon Ball and we are hurtling toward that end of Z date where Pan enters the World Martial Arts Tournament. And I believe by that time, she'll be a little bit older than what we saw her in Superhero. And now she is, as she wasn't Superhero, a main character. She has connections with Piccolo. She has connections with everybody else. She is a very important character. She learned how to fly. She got character growth, character progression. I haven't seen a character again this much love that's brand new because Pan is essentially brand new since Broly and that's why Broly is number two on this list because Pan and Broly both are getting so much love and so much attention it's just uh it it, it, it to me it, it makes me feel good because I actually like these two characters but at the same time it does foreshadow that Pan is going to have a huge major part to play especially with the fact that the next Dragon Ball story is going to be Dragon Ball Magic, which is almost like GT. So I would be very surprised if Pan is not going to be on that journey and just going around with with uh, Goku and whoever else trying to face off against this villain, turn her grandpa and the Supreme Kai back into adults. I do see her being a big part of that story and I do see her being like almost the anchor toward the future of, of the next generation of Dragon Ball as a as an actual like main character that is possibly a teenager or a young adult. I see her being very, very important in that future. But that's my list. Let me know what you guys thought and drop your list down in the comment section below. Subscribe for more content.